Hello everybody and welcome to my first video on Protosec. Wow, I know, right? I've actually managed to get on here somehow. <laughs> um, pretty cool. Uh, I've been here for a little while and I've been waiting to make this video and I think I finally got a few things to actually show you guys on this video. So let's get right into it. So over the last few weeks, I've done a little bit of work here. Uh, one of the first things I did uh, was build this piston bolt, actually. Uh, we designed this and built this in under 48 hours. Well, most of it, at least. Um, just a tiny bit left here, but uh, that's for another time. Um, let's take a ride down it. It's it's a fairly short piston bolt. It just connects the main storage slash uh, quad witch hut to the nether hub. Uh, I believe currently the plan is to move this nether hub, so uh, the end section here will need to be moved. Uh, it's going to be a giant pain, the whole project is going to be a giant pain, but that's alright. We'll find a way, and uh, yeah, that's that's that. Uh, another thing that we've done recently is... Ooh, that was quick. That was quick. Um, <laughs> is we've... Um, oh, where is it? We... Kind of ate the world a little over here. Um, I, if I remember and can be bothered to, I will include a replay of this and the piston bolt being built somewhere in this video. Um, nothing special, just a little bit here and there. Yeah, the plan is, uh, I believe, to build a temporary storage over here because the main storage that we have currently kind of got blown up a little. Um, a world eater kind of ran through it. So, plan is to build a temporary storage over here. So, we've cleared this area. Um, the whole area around spawner, actually, uh, is going to be cleared as well. So, there's a bit more over here. Where we want to build a... I believe it's a 500 block diameter octagon around spawn here so that's gonna happen soon hopefully um i've, I've recently died so i don't have many things on me unfortunately i would i would probably do some stuff right now yeah uh this over here is being dug out manually i've been working here for the last few hours and yeah i guess that's about it oh there's heroics i was wondering where he went uh, he's AFK, so no worries. Um, yeah, that that's pretty much it. That's all that's happening right now, I think. Um, we recently did get uh, command blocks and repeating command blocks and chain command blocks, as well as barrier blocks, and I think there's something else as well. I don't remember. I don't think I don't think so actually. But yeah, we got those in survival here, vanilla Minecraft. We we do crazy things. Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, it, it is funny to think about, um, but that's not my project. Uh, I won't talk about that too much because I don't really know how any of that works. However, what I do know is my two upcoming projects are, uh, basically I want to build a cactus farm. There isn't a cactus farm on this server, quite surprisingly, so that's something I want to do. Uh, I want to build a cactus farm. Uh, and with that cactus farm, I want to build an XP smelter. So when you smelt cactus in Java edition, you get one whole XP per cactus, which is a lot considering that cactus is basically free. So what I want to do is store the XP in furnaces and then you need to be able to just come up, get 30 levels for free or whatever. Uh, have I want to have different like um, XP stations that you can have. So like level 0 to 30 station, a level 27 to 30 station or whatever, uh, tool repair one, um, one where it calculates how much is needed for you to repair a tool, basically. Um, shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, it just needs to basically be connected up to the output of the cactus farm. But yeah, that's one project. The other project is, which uh, I'm actually going to be going off to design right now, is a sugarcane farm. Now, I've already got a design, and that is exactly what we'll be using, but the design needs to be adjusted slightly for 1.12, because this is a 1. Uh, oh, I don't even remember which one. Whichever version 
allows you to place rails on top of pistons. That version. So it needs to be adjusted ever so slightly. Uh, it should still be equally as efficient. Uh, so, or maybe not actually. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I have a design. We're going to build it soon. And we're aiming for around 40k sugar canes in there. So it's going to be quite big. The output should be quite high per hour. So yeah, those are the upcoming projects. I don't really have anything else to say right now. Apart from maybe you'll see some replays right now. But other than that, thank you for watching. <laughs> I know this has been a short one. I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing. Because it's been a long time since my last Doom Tech video. Which, by the way, is dead. Uh, I probably won't be coming back to that ever again, unfortunately. Um, it I was doing things that were just not feasible. And yeah. that That's a bit sad, to be honest. But yeah. I'm now here on ProTech and I'm excited to make content here and hopefully there'll be quite a lot. So yeah, as I said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention we gave Zipper over a tour. Oh dang! This Ooh. is actually a crazy spawn. What the heck? Where are we right now? Are we in the middle of the ocean? Zipper over, I got a, I got a gift for you. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I like to see that. <laughs> I have another shulker box for you, um, but it's like things that you can place down, so just be a little bit more careful with it. Yeah. So when you get back on, it has uh, barrier blocks, monster spawners, bedrock, wooden slab, and then portal. Are you recording? We have a repeating command block. Command block. Thanks for, the, thanks for watching the Let's Play, boys. I guess we didn't do the actual introduction. So welcome Sip over to Prototech, the oldest running vanilla survival server in the world. Is it uh, actually? So... Holy crap. Yeah, look yeah at the it is. Uh, there are uh, older servers like the infamous to B2T, but uh, we are fully vanilla. Dang. Basically, if you are under an end portal and you use a piston to push you under the portal, you're going to be warped to the end with your overworld coordinates. So I'm just going to do it. And uh, I just made it to the end border. It only, re it only requires you to get uh, end portal frames. Yeah. Some dude really been walking to the Farlands since 2009, and we just did it in five minutes. Yeah, I'm trying to get positioned well. Okay, uh, so everyone has their screenshots, or are we waiting? One second. Okay, uh, okay, sure. I was looking in different places. Okay, yeah, I got some. <laughs>